All right, if you guys don't know who Officer Tatum is, Officer Tatum is one of the biggest supporters of Donald Trump, black conservative that's out there, and he made news and made headlines in some of his beef with Lecrae in the past. And kind of both of those guys kind of, he was kind of a Christian rapper, and uh, Lecrae is a Christian rapper. And I'll give him credit. He, he, he was a Christian rapper and devoted his life to doing those kind of things earlier on. And so I'm going to give him the dignity and respect uh, of his artistry there. But he's gone now more into social media. He's very popular. I love a lot of his talking points. And I think he's absolutely right when he's calling out some of the trans nonsense that's out there. He's a little bit crass at times. But Officer Tatum makes a statement. And I love it when guys duke it out. Look, my motto this year is fight, fight, fight. I'm going to fight for the faith, fight for the family, fight for uh, everything that is good, proper, and right in this world. We're going to try to fight for those things. And uh, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And so I'm not talking about physically fighting anybody. Please don't misunderstand or mis edit what it is that I'm saying here. So I love it when guys can be honest and, and, uh, Leighton flowers, um, the Calvinist killer out there and, uh, Doug Wilson, I was trolling him yesterday and his people out there. Um, and just, I, I would love to sit down and have a conversation and or a debate with any of those guys that are out there. Um, I'm going to be saying some things that are debatable, rightly, with Christian nationalists and Trump supporters that I think is an important thing, important conversation. Obviously, there will be people who disagree with me. I want you to disagree with me. I want to be challenged. I want to be refined. But I think I also have a, mo a point of challenge. I think that we have so degraded our brains and so degraded actual substantive conversation in our world that when people see the real thing, they go, ooh, that's good. There's actually some insight there. There's actually something that we can grow on. And so I like it when people have beef with one another that actually has some substance to it. Lecrae, who at times has been a very lukewarm Christian rapper, um, I don't think he would even dispute that, is criticized Brandon Tatum. Brandon Tatum is criticized. And so the term fake Christian has been used in reference from Brandon Tatum to Lecrae. Now, why does all of this matter? I think you'll see here in just a few moments, and hopefully I can do this really short amount of time. Um, he's responding to the fact that Lecrae now didn't say anything about President Biden uh, making it transgender optic day or whatever it was and having to coincide with Easter. Now, I haven't said anything about that either, but it doesn't make me a fake Christian. I'm actually just spending my time talking about the resurrection um, instead of talking about what president biden did or did not do and so i don't think it makes me a fake christian because i didn't uh speak to that story sometimes you guys know who watch this show i don't speak to all the popular stories out there and sometimes my silence is my speech i don't say a lot of things about president biden because i don't want to give him the time of day i don't want to keep mentioning his name i think he should be in a nursing home and i don't think he should even be running for president of the united states so i don't spend a lot of time talking about people who don't matter to the mission that i'm on and so because I don't cover every story, it doesn't make me a fake Christian. I just would rather talk about the things that actually do matter, which is scripture, God's word, playing awesome Erskine music, if you hadn't heard that, by the way, and going on. So this beef, who's who's a fake Christian that's here? Brandon Tatum, he's awfully strong on the cray, but listen to what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, and ladies, I have to talk about this real quick. This will be a quick video. I don't want to take too long. Lecrae, I said it uh, on my video, on my Instagram. When we were talking about the trans visibility stuff that that the uh, Biden administration was up. doing, it is it was a spit in the face to Christians all over the nation. And I agree. With I would him argue on that. all over the world. Now we do know that trans visibility has been going around for X amount of years, but but Joe Biden is the one that declared it in 2021, and then he declared it again the, the year that it fall on Easter Sunday, better known AKA. When they say AKA, it better known as I only like saying Easter. Easter is I don't really like Easter, but Resurrection Sunday is what we. Okay, I'm I'm tracking with him. I'm with. Officer Tatum, I'm with Brandon Tatum on everything that he's saying so far, but he's calling out Lecrae, and I'm I'm not against a good call out. Be calling Resurrection Sunday, and he put it out there. And Speaking of call outs, LSU tried to call Iowa out, and Caitlin Clark had to shut that mouth. I'm just saying, I love call outs because at some point talking has to relate to action, and if the actions a couple of times I couldn't back that up, like when I ran from the Vato scuffing the Mazapatos. Anyway. Um, and I made rolling. a statement in my video, just so you know that I'm not making this up, wrote a video. I find it incredibly disgraceful that the president of the United States of America in the White House is celebrating Transgender Visibility Day on Resurrection Sunday. 
I, if you don't think there is a connection there and a spit in the face of Christians, you are smoking crack. OK, I don't know how Christians accept this. I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat. How could you vote for people who disrespect Jesus Christ like this? And I'm not trying to call names. This is a story that I pretty much wouldn't cover just because I don't really. I think the power of the message of the resurrection and the cross is so much more profound than any <laughs> decrumpet decrepit i think i guess it would, it would be tales from the crypt style man who's in some type of oval office making a statement contrary to that like there's no statement that can be made that actually even registers for me against the power of the resurrection so this is a story that i wouldn't cover this is something that is not just nonsense but it's no news it, it's 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 no news but i understand this people could be very upset about it. it is disrespectful in a lot of different ways but okay i'm, I'm tracking with Brent. i guarantee you lecrae ain't gonna say nothing about this lecrae ain't gonna say nothing about it okay He's using names he calling names just so we know who we talking about here on his page i look because he made a video about me saying that i was wrong for saying he was a fakest christian rapper but just go look on your fakest favorite people's christian pages rapper. and you show me if they're going to even say nothing about it and bring attention to it because it's their party their side the people that they want to hold their hand in this election it is a shame I will never support people that don't show love. For I told y'all Lecrae we're going to say nothing about this. And he's okay. not the only one. Lecrae, he's Lecrae, the Lecrae, Lecrae, Lecrae. In my mind of these fake Lecrae, Lecrae. won't stand up for nothing. He's so fake. So what do you know? I looked on his page then, and I looked okay. on his page today, and I said, let's see if Lecrae has said anything about now, it. Now, uh, James 2, 28, 1 Peter 3, 21, Acts 2, 38, Ephesians 1, 13. He got tatted on his arm. He got tatted on his arm. And he's out there calling Lecrae a fake Christian. There's some, there's some fighting words. Because he don't mind performing at their political events. Okay. He don't mind claiming he's on the right side of history. <clears throat> he don't mind standing up. He don't mind going to Diddy parties. And Diddy now is has been arrested for allegedly participating in sex trafficking. He ain't going to say nothing about that. Okay. None of that. But let me go to got, got, quick, got his name and got his likeness and his image on his page. This is bogus bullcrap of trans visibility. And I could go back a year ago in 2018 or go back to 2018 when it landed on Passover, trans visibility. And he didn't say nothing about it. And I watched all these videos. Just so you know, I watched all these videos. He didn't say nothing about it. Now he's talking about uh, married and rolling a stone away from the man. Listen, he ain't talking about nothing. And none of the stories either. Let's see. Turn it up. The purple haired uh, assassin over here. Let's see what let's see what he's talking about. Ain't nothing there. He ain't talking about it on there. Let's go to this. And this leads me to another point. I'm all right. Before you get to your other point, I'm done with that point. I just want to say that that was. Look, I'm, and I don't want to make this a, uh, it's not a race thing. And I, I'm not even on that bandwagon itself. It's a culture thing whereby you have um, call out culture. And it is something that happens in black culture. It is kind of a show me culture. And especially with two guys who are somewhere associated in that orb of the rap game, rap music is call out culture. I'm so excited that D1 has called out some of the Christian or some of the non Christian rappers that are out there producing poison that are impacting black communities and black families all over the place. Call out culture. It is a call out culture. So don't think that it is as strong as, look, I actually physically want to do something. It's, it's not that. But it is a, look, I recognize, I see you, um, you're a fake Christian. Calling somebody a fake Christian is a pretty big swipe. He got his name, he says his name, he's got his images all up over the thing, and he's calling him a fake Christian. He's calling him fake. Why? As you listen to that, he called him fake because he feels like his support for the Democratic Party, he's fake because he's not going to resist the legislation that's out there in the world this is christian nationalism nonsense that's out there uh and so i just simply want to show you this before we get off the erskine music show today in reference to what i said about the nicene creed what does brandon tatum actually actually believe about jesus let's listen to it this will be short ah is god a man or a woman clearly god does not have a gender if jesus was God, then he couldn't have died on the cross. It if Jesus was God, then he couldn't have died on the cross. He 
denies the deity of Christ? It, it was a, he was acting like he was dead. He was faking dead. God is not subject. He was acting like he was dead. He was faking that he was dead because he was always God, never fleshed. Does he deny the incarnation? Does he believe in docetism? Because that was condemned as a heresy. To a flesh. God is not subject to death. God cannot die. So people. Muslim argument that God cannot die, so therefore Jesus could not be God. He denies the Trinity as well. People need to, need to rephrase what happened to Jesus on the cross if you're going to say that Jesus was God, right? A manifestation of something. The Trinity is is, is not even close. Like, you're going to see three persons. You, you, you're you worshiping three gods. It doesn't matter how many times you Denial of the Trinity. Say you're not. Clearly, those are his words. Worshiping three gods. I, I'm just going to explain it to you. It's very simple. simple. So I was in between. He was going to explain it to us because we don't understand it. We who are Orthodox Christians don't understand. In that stage where I'm up and I'm sleeping and I, and I saw a face appear to me and I just I, I just knew it was Jesus. And it appeared to me red. It was red. It was a red face. And it's like something went, went inside of me. And, I, and I'd never been the same. So his experience with Jesus was a dream where there's a red face and something went inside of him. No declaration or proclamation of faith in Jesus Christ. Sir, Brandon Tatum, the reason why I'm calling you out on the show is because you are not a Christian. If you don't recant those words or repurpose or restate those words in reference to your own personal experience with the Bible, your own personal experience with Jesus, what your statements are publicly about who Jesus is, you are not a Christian. So before we go on calling Lecrae, and whom I maybe could have a, if he wants to come on the show too, that'd be great. I would have a, a, a different discussion with him. But before we go on a show calling somebody a fake Christian, if we do not believe in historic orthodox doctrine, we cannot first call ourselves a Christian. All right, so if there's anybody who's a fake Christian, Officer Tatum, it may in fact be you. Go back and check the stats and check what the Bible actually teaches. Now, he, this is three years ago. And so if anybody wants to show me a video in which he is recanted of these sayings, recanted of these teachings, recanted of these public statements, then please, by all means, show it to me. But he's got Bible verses on this video talking about Jesus in a way that the Bible does not talk about Jesus. So just because you put Bible verses up there does not a Bible scholar you make. Trinity. I mean, a lot of people get so upset with, with my opinions on it. Why would they get upset with your opinions? Because your opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't mean anything. What matters is scripture, Brandon Tatum, Officer Tatum. Sir, come on the show and talk about the Trinity. And I feel like it just turned people off and nobody want to listen to the... That's why you only have 302 views on this. Yes, it does turn people off because it's not Christianity. So when you try to call yourself a Christian and then furthermore try to call other people out who are fake Christians, you might need to have the inspection that James tells us looking in the word of God, which is a mirror, which shows us our true reflection. Brandon Tatum, you, sir, if this is your present beliefs, are not a Christian. You need Jesus. And I don't care how many Trump shirts you wear, how much Save America stuff that you do on your show, how much you say things that I agree with that are in opposition to the alphabet mafia that's out there. Sir, if you were to die today, you'd go to hell and you'd spend eternity separated from the Jesus in whom you say you represent. The explanation of how I come to my conclusion, but it is what it is. You know, I, I believe that Jesus is who he said he was. I believe every scripture in the Bible. No, you uh, don't. Some people say Jesus is God. I don't even know what that means. Jesus said that he's God. <laughs> he said, I'm the way, the truth. No man comes to the Father except through me. He said, I'm the door. He said, I'm the resurrection. I'm the bread of life. I'm the light of the world. Jesus said and knew that he was God because he could use that statement, I am. Sir, you are absolutely out of pocket. means, to be honest. When I read the Bible, that's not... You got to jump through a lot of hoops, hoops to get to that conclusion. No, you just have to have faith to believe that the scriptures are true. And what Jesus is talking about in John chapter 3 that unless you're born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Both to Nicodemus and to Brandon Tatum. <laughs> uh, unless you are born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. You just do your research. Look at the context, context of the scripture. He's putting all of the important verses of scripture that are up there. And this, I know this is somebody else who is putting these verses of scripture that's up there. It's not him himself because he'd be self-contradicting him. So somebody has exposed him I don't want to do this tonight, but 
if your pastor is telling you that's proof text of the Trinity, your pastor needs to go back to seminary school and they're deceiving you and they're and, and I think some of them are evil and what they're trying to convince you of. All right. I'm out of that. So why did I labor so much? Why did I labor the point on this show so much at the beginning of the show in reference to scripture, and what James White was talking about in reference to who Jesus is, in reference to the resurrection, in reference to the Nicene Creed and what Christians say, because there's a lot of actual fake Christians who are out there. Hey, look, it's the Erskine 